We're now going to look at a barrier method of contraception for women, which is called the diaphragm. This is one of two methods that are very similar. One's the cap, which fits over the neck of the womb, and one's the diaphragm, which goes right up inside the vagina and sits in between the pubic bone and the back of the neck of the womb. This is never uh, an airtight or watertight method and so it's always got to be used with some kind of spermicide. Today I'm just going to demonstrate it with spermicidal gel but it can be used with a spermicidal cream, a pessary or a foam. This is a demonstration diaphragm. No diaphragm has a hole punched in it like this, otherwise it would offer no protection. But the reason it has a hole punched in is really just to show that we can't buy these over the counter. We can't measure for ourselves to find out what size we need. We are advised to see a healthcare professional to have a measurement made for that distance between the neck of the womb and the pubic bone. So this is a diaphragm. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of spermicide around the outside of it, like this. A little bit of spermicide down the middle. And that, if any sperm do get through around the outside of the diaphragm, will kill the sperm. So together, spermicide and diaphragm are quite an effective method of contraception, but there are times when women don't always use the diaphragm and so it can be through a woman's own error um, not a very me good method of contraception um, however if she uses it every single time she has any sexual intercourse it's a fairly good method and for women who can't take hormones a very good method so I'm going to do the same as we did when we were looking at the female condom and take the demonstrator and just squeeze the diaphragm so it's about the size of a tampon and then push it inside the vagina until it goes right to the back and right to the back of the vagina and when a woman is putting her diaphragm in she's usually advised to feel for the neck of the womb for something that feels a little bit like the end of the nose so when she feels for the neck of the womb, she can feel that it's covering the neck of the womb. One part of the diaphragm is behind, the other part of the diaphragm is in front. And then if I turn this round, you can see that that's in place. Now that diaphragm stays in place after intercourse and after um, about six hours, it can be taken out, washed and reused. That space of time that it's left in allows the spermicide the time to do its work of killing sperm. Spermicides shouldn't really be used as a method of contraception on their own. They're always used in conjunction with something else and we do know that some spermicides cause an irritation on the inside of a woman's vagina and so they're not recommended for women who um, practice um, un unsafe sex because um, if they're having sex with more than one partner and they're at risk of infection, it creates an environment where infection is more likely to grow.